Welcome. So we're here to talk about pale heads. Or, or I call them skinless zombie. Zombies. They are extremely tough to kill. And they were first introduced in the Arctic Mountain. They were mostly made up from humans who was captured and experimented on. Experimented on. With the um, tyrant virus. But a different strain, the Epsilon strain, which is derived from the T virus. And they were used to make bioweapons for these, for these pale heads. Pale heads. And with them being leaked during the Resident Evil 1 and Raccoon City to cover up the mess after the leak has happened. The Ep Epsilon virus was created by James Marcus, which then created the T virus. But with the mess already happened, um, they basically released them on their own research. They basically released them on their own researches to cover up their um, misdeeds. So that the bioweapon doesn't get out um, any further than Raccoon City. Now these payloads are not around for that long. But they were then later released. I mean, that's basically all I can say about the payloads. There's not much information on them. Other than being very dangerous and unpredictable and uncontrollable. And very, very hard to kill. Even for the Umbrella Corporation himself had trouble dealing with this mess. Capturing people, dissecting them, experiment on them. Until, you know, they got what they wanted, a bioweapon. But, you know, they was hoping to create a super soldier from the which you do know later they do, which is the Tyrant. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe and share.